What's up, everybody? It's Hennessy here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida, and about to tour this incredible 43rd floor, three-story penthouse right here. As you guys can see, property gets amazing views, has beautiful finishes, and we have a pool on the third floor, which is even more amazing. Now, specs on the unit. We got five bedrooms, seven full baths, two half baths, 9,193 square feet of interior space with an asking price of $25,500,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the listing agent, Jeff Miller, for allowing us to tour his amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now, let's begin our tour. Before we continue with the tour, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this week's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people. With Skillshare, you can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and follow wherever your creativity takes you. They are always launching new premium classes, so they are never short of new and interesting courses. What I like about their courses is that you will find useful classes for every different skill level. Whether you're an amateur or a pro, hobbyist or a master, they have something for you. I had a chance to take some classes based on my personal interests. Among them, I really enjoyed the YouTube success class by Marques Brownlee, which helped me evolve my own content production process. I really liked that the course included a behind the scenes look into the making of one of his own videos. Also, Skillshare is much more than just an online learning platform. It connects you with like-minded fellow creatives, creating a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration, which makes the experience of learning more meaningful. You can even get live classes on Skillshare, which allows you to learn in real time alongside others. This helps you to connect with other members and with some of the most popular teachers on the platform. The fact that there are no ads and that you can learn at your own pace adds to the experience. You can find more information on Skillshare down in the description of this video and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And now, let's get back to our tour. The penthouse at Regalia sits atop the 43rd to the 46th floor, the top three floors of the building and you, you have true 360 degree views of Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Miami Beach. It's truly sunrise to sunset views. You, on a clear day, you can almost see all the way to the Bahamas. The, the blue, crystal clear blue azure water below, dolphins swimming through, manatees swimming by, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry of this penthouse. On my left-hand side, we have this amazing entry gallery where two elevators come up to your private unit and private entry because this unit consists of three levels, right? On the first floor, we have the common areas. Right in front of us, we have the formal living room area. Right away, first thing we have to talk about are these amazing views. I mean, we have the Atlantic Ocean right in front of us. It looks stunning and it kind of goes to the infinity. It's just like an endless view to look at. We're here in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida, and uh, we're on 43rd floor, so these are a little bit elevated. It is pretty high up here. Absolutely. Formal living room area, nice seating setup, obviously a very spacious room, 22 foot high ceilings. We got this gorgeous chandelier above us right in the center of the room, and we can actually see the bridge that connects the bedrooms on the second floor. It's all open, again, all focused towards these amazing views, and we have the sliding glass door here, by the way, opening up to the wraparound patio staircase on this side but first i want to take everybody to this side where we have the formal dining room area we got this massive table for 12 
which is kind of nice. We're used to seeing a lot of these linear tables, these big square ones where everybody can kind of see each other. It's just a better experience. Gorgeous light fixture above. Again, all sliding glass doors open up to the wraparound balcony. On this side, we can actually see Sunny Isles Beach, the whole coastline. You'll literally see waves rolling in, which is just amazing. And we got to go out to the patio from the other side in a bit. Just looks incredible. And uh, we have natural stone floors. And this door right here opens up to the kitchen, which we're gonna see towards the end of the first floor. Now, let's go this way. Formal living room area, floating steel staircase with open riser design, glass railing that takes us up to the second floor. And to separate the seating bar area from the formal living room, we have this gorgeous wine cellar assembly that kind of separates each room from each other. But even the details here with the leather wrapped handles, beautiful wood panels, just looks great in a fuel elevation bar set up here. Take a look at this onyx. I've never seen an onyx with this kind of a vein cut and detailing before. And it actually has a little bit of texture as well. Since it's onyx, it's also been backlit. Ice maker, let's see. Those refrigerator drawers that we always love. They got one here, one below. Again, it's a fully decked out bar setup. Now, right on the other side, bar seating, your TV, this wing, you see the ocean, but you also see the coastline. And more importantly, Mikey, I gotta show this view. Can our cameras show the view? You can actually see Miami skyline over there, which is amazing, and the bay right in front of Pretty us. Pretty far, kind of hard to see from my camera. And uh, look, I mean, people are enjoying their boats, just at the beach, having a good time. It's so vibrant and energetic out here. And let's actually walk outside. I, I gotta show this view from this balcony. I'm not going to go around the edge because it's pretty windy right now, but you guys get the point. Look at this view. Look at our elevation. This is incredible. Yeah. Now, wraparound balcony picks up all the rooms on this level as well. Mikey, why don't we step inside and close this door? Thank you. And um, continue our tour. It was a little scary out there. I mean, it's pretty high, but uh, you get that unobstructed view. All right, this door opens up. We got a powder room here. Beautiful finishes, floating vanity design, all fabricated. And recently we toured one of the units on this building on a lower level, and we saw the same brush nickel finishes, and they have the same finishes over here as well. Y'all might remember it even better if NS were to turn it on. There you go. Happy? All right, this door opens up to the movie theater. Now this is a very interesting room. And I say interesting because, Mikey, can we pan down to the floors for a second? They have this carpet design throughout with this really unique pattern, wood inlays, two steps with LED lighting. And I think they left this room kind of open for the end user to pick the finishes that they would like. Walls are nicely paneled, surround sound. We have the projector there, screen on this side, and you even get some built-ins on this end as well. Same wood paneling that we're seeing throughout. They also have it here. This cabin is open. There you go, I close that. And even here you have sliding glass doors and if you don't want to have them, you have automatic drapes throughout to close it all off so you can black out the entire room. As we continue, another powder room. God, these powder rooms are just incredible. The view you get from your bathroom is uh, just astonishing. It's too good. Too good. And Mikey, I know you're going to like this. They have this cloth wall that's super soft and carries out that like sand and beach theme which is really nice. Yeah, it almost feels like a suede, but not Or like silk maybe. Yeah. Super nice. All right, let's continue. We got a lot more to see. Couple of storage closets. This door opens up to your seating area, entertainment area. I mean, this room, in my opinion, is just as impressive as the former living room area because not only it's spacious, warm with wood paneling, although you're looking at the city side, this view is just as impressive. I mean, you're looking at the bay, Boats moving in and out. You kind of have the rest of the city on the back. Super cozy and... Something unique. Something very unique. This glass elevator, these things work on a vacuum system. So when you're in it, it makes a little bit of a, like a air sound, almost like a, how would I explain that? It's a weird feeling. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, like... You get suctioned up basically. Yeah, you get like sucked up in the roof or I guess pushed down. Um, it doesn't put any pressure on you as a person as you're in there, but you can feel that air is moving through the elevator. Yeah, like you're, you're kind of bouncing, like it feels like you're levitating. It's kind of Kind strange. of, yeah. good point. Bird's eye maple cabinetry throughout. 
drawers, beautiful marble on the back, floating shelves. I mean, finishes are great. Now, other side, you have your TV, you have your partition. If you wanted to separate these seating areas, and of course, you got a couch set up here. Again, I mean, you're in Florida, people like to enjoy, sit down, have friends over, right? It's all about that lifestyle, and this three-story penthouse certainly delivers that. And there's your TV. How do those other cabinets open? Up or, or to the side? I would think up. Oh, yeah. Oh. That looks cool. Now, we covered this section. We got to show this. This is your entry kind of elevator landing where you can go to your former living room or this side. And following this hallway, we have the office here. I say office, but could easily qualify for a bedroom. Obviously, it's spacious enough has a walk-in closet, full bathroom here. And again, natural stone finishes, they clad the walls. They really didn't skip on the details. When I, what I mean by that is they could have easily left this back wall with just drywall, but everything is clad. Again, they tried to bring that uh, beach and sand element throughout the units. Although they're very modern and sleek with these metal chrome finishes, um, there are a lot of these earth tones with the doors wallpapers, flooring that we see throughout. All right, lights are off. Let me turn this on. We have the laundry room here, washer, dryer, cabinetry. Who has a laundry room? Do you like this? I don't know. You fold some towels, you get to look at the ocean. Exactly, but in this unit, you have a view like that. Yeah. All right, this door opens up to one of the most impressive rooms on this level, the kitchen. It's certainly very spacious. Mikey, let's start on this side. I mean, you have a ton of cabinetry, built-in pantry space. I'm sure you guys expect this by now. The whole place is wired with Crestron system. You can literally control anything you want, uh, whether you're away or home through that iPad right there. Three refrigerators, well, two refrigerators. Mikey, let's get a quick look. Sub-Zero, nicely dressed. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got the freezer here. Let's take a quick look at that. And um, you know, what's so impressive about this unit is like, no matter where you are, you're one step away from just stepping onto your balcony and realizing you're this high up and this is your view. Like we are in a pantry hallway in a kitchen yeah. and we're looking at this incredible, what do you think, Mike, like 10 mile coastline? Yeah, it really goes just about as far as the eye can see. It's, it's pretty wild. This is crazy. We're literally watching the waves rolling in. Um, amazing, Yeah. amazing. All right, also they clad the walls with quartz throughout with these slabs, induction, you have your Wolf Grill, commercial vent, ready? Air fryer. Really? Yes. We've never seen that in the house. I genuinely don't know how these things even work. Yeah, it's kind of all the rage right now. People are- people Exactly, are everybody's about talking it. about this air frying stuff. Um, all right, countertop space continues. This base cabinet kind of extends out as an island. We have the bar seating on the other side, plenty of cabinets. This is all polyform, so we love polyform. We, we're used to seeing them a lot in LA, actually, uh, in modern homes. Not a bad view from your prep sink, waterfall edge, and let's focus on this side. Like I mentioned earlier, the whole wall is wrapped with quartz, clad on this side, your built-ins, warming drawer, and uh, let's see, more uppers. This one has more of the kind of a grayish, purplish tone almost. Yeah, it's like yeah. gray, blue. Exactly. No handles, very sleek, flat panel cabinetry, two dishwashers. We always appreciate these. You got a home like this, you're gonna entertain, you're gonna have friends over. You wanna have two dishwashers. Always. Sink setup, more built-ins, espresso maker. I mean, this is great. You got even more pantry space over here. Doesn't get much better, I mean. And check this out. Conveniently located right next to your formal dining room area. I know uh, we're gonna go see it again, but why don't we jump out and see those views one more time before we Let's go upstairs. Let's do it. I guess we saw that wing, right? Yeah. We're a little bit protected from the uh, wind over here, but uh, Mikey, start from the canal and the bay. It's just, uh, you know what's so special about it? You're just not used to seeing views like this every day. Yeah. This is kind of man-made to a degree. It's awesome to see boats rolling on one side, ocean views on the other. People were kite surfing and windsurfing down below. I don't know where you get an experience like this and a good weather like this all the time. Yeah, also I know people are gonna ask in the comment section, 
this little thing we see uh, next to Ennis is actually like, like a bird deterrent. So it's just like a uh, like a cattle fence or like a like an electrified fence. Yep. But so the birds are not sitting on the rail. It's like much much less voltage. It's like if you touch it, there's a little tingle. Well, keep in mind this is a brand new unit, so nobody's living in it. So they want to make sure it stays in pristine condition. So that's why they have this system. Also, one more thing. From the outside with these curved balconies, building has such a unique architecture. Obviously, it's walls of glass 360 throughout the units, but it's just awesome to see the curves and just this different approach with this building. And that wraps our tour for the first floor of this amazing penthouse. Now let's go back inside, take the stairs, and check out the second floor. From the second that you first arrive at Regalia, um, the, you notice the level of service immediately. Um, you're, you're greeted by the, the front desk. Um, as soon as you arrive, they're offering you water, cappuccino, coffee, tea, whatever you prefer, all served with white gloves on silver platters. So when I compare it or when I visit other buildings, I notice immediately the level of service is just like checking into a Four Seasons. The building is fully amenitized with spa. The pool area has their private cabanas with mini uh, kitchen areas. So when you're down by the pool, you have your own private um, backyard feeling. All right, everyone, here we are at the second floor landing. And the first door on our left hand side opens up to the first bedroom suite for this level. This bedroom feels like you're floating up in the air above the ocean. It's incredible. I can literally see kind of a small storm rolling in as we speak, but we have the waves rolling down below us, beach. It's almost interesting to come all the way to the edge and see this view from this angle. Now, in terms of the bedroom, it's super spacious. We have wallpaper throughout, drop down TV, so it doesn't take anything from your view. Or if you don't want to watch TV, you have this view all open, automatic drapes throughout hardwood floors and right here again sunny isles beach you can actually see the whole coastline and the bay even miami when it's clear now let's go to the other side and this bedroom we get a wet bar sink setup refrigerated drawers natural stone countertops even with an led lighting above all right as we continue this bedroom of course has a full bathroom double of everything but instead of going with two sink design they actually came up with this big fabricated sink that serves as a dual sink, right? Brush nickel fixtures, bird's eye maple cabinetry, and we have the walk-in shower over here with the rain head and a toilet around. Now, walk-in closet. This one has more of the darker tones, leather handles, which I really appreciate. Everything is nicely decked out and paneled out. Now let's go back to the hallway and continue our tour by going to the other side. Right across on this bridge, we have the primary bedroom, which we're gonna check out in a bed, living room below us, and we're gonna take this hallway. Now, this unit consists of three levels. That's why, if you want to, you can actually come up straight to the 44th floor rather than 43rd floor. These double doors open up to the back wing of the house, and as we take this hallway, we have the same white plank hardwood floors, and this room on the left opens up to the first bedroom suite on this wing. This bedroom is really generous in size. Same hardwood floors are brought in here with the seamless transition, king size bed, built-ins. This one actually gets more of the darker tones with the cabinet doors to create a little bit of contrast. King size bed here, seating area, amazing views, and we have the desk set up here. Now, around the corner, let's take a quick peek at this bathroom. Again, everything is clad with stone, from walk-in shower all the way to a floating vanity design, even the back walls, same brush knuckle finishes, and we have the toilet right here opening up to the balcony. Now, as we get out, let's go check out a couple more bedrooms that are on this wing. We're back here. This door opens up to the second bedroom. This one is a little bit smaller than the bedroom that we just toured, but again, still pretty good size. Built-ins here with a TV opening up to the wraparound balcony. And around the corner, we have a bathroom with a tub set up and a floating vanity. Now let's go back to the hallway. A lot of bedrooms in this penthouse. We got another one right here, pretty much a replica of the bedroom that we just saw. It's awesome to see each one of these bedrooms being really good size. 
where you can place a good sized bed, walk-in closet. This one actually even has a desk set up and a full bathroom wrap around balcony. Lastly, we have a room at the end of this hallway, but we're gonna see that through the primary bedroom. Now, let me take everybody back to this landing on the second floor. And by the way, building, you have full service, common areas, pool on the lower level. And this unit actually has its own pool, which we're also gonna check out in a bit. And let's open up this door and check out the primary bedroom. Now, this primary bedroom is a showstopper. Showstopper because how many buildings or areas of the world you know where you can be this close to the ocean and see the ocean from this kind of elevation. I mean, it's unobstructed. This view just goes to the infinity and you live in Florida, so you go through different seasons. So you're gonna have some days that are choppy like this, but you're gonna have some days that are super calm. You're gonna see that crystal clear Florida water. It's just a very interesting experience. I mean, being able to see the beach down below you is amazing. This bedroom, well, we have the same hardwood floors, again, tying in that beach theme and the lighter tones, king size bed. And of course, they didn't wanna take anything away from that view. That's why right above us, we have that drop down TV, wallpaper to kind of warm up the space. And I really appreciate that they kind of padded this back wall and kind of created a pattern here to just, again, kind of bring some uh, unique architectural lines and texture to this primary bedroom. Now, views on the other side, just as impressive. You can see sunny aisles, all these beautiful canal homes, coastline, and following behind the bed setup, this is where this primary bedroom gets really elevated in my opinion. We have the vet bar, small sink, and this whole assembly and the entire primary bedroom bathroom is clad with marble, every single surface. We have the refrigerator drawers here, and as we go in, these glass doors open up to arguably one of the most impressive penthouse bathrooms we've ever seen on this channel, without a doubt. Let's give it a quick look here. So we got the water closet here, toilet, bidet, marble everywhere with the views. Going around, we have all these towel racks that are heated and it's almost like they designed it like a spa rather than a bathroom. And right across from the towel heaters, we have the built-in tub. Now this built-in tub is surrounded with gorgeous marble. I love all the details and intricacies and just the veins of this marble is incredible. And they have this overflow design where you can actually run this tub and overflow it because right around it, we have this big reveal where there are actually two drains. So you can actually overflow it and enjoy your uh, hot tub without worrying about splashing or getting your floors wet. Now, first closet is right here, all decked out, white tones, hangers, LED lighting, drawers, with these leather wrapped handles and uh, there you go. If you want to place a safe, you even have the location for it. Overall, it's pretty good size and we have the shoe racks here. And getting out right across, I'm gonna zigzag this entire tour here because we got a lot to see. Walk and shower. Let me take a moment to step in because we got a massive rain head right above us, recessed in seamlessly to the ceiling. Then we have all these body sprays handles and it's just the fabrication and the, how polished these fixtures are it just looks stunning and what a better place than this one where you can take a shower enjoy these amazing views this is incredible this is an experience on its own all right across first vanity setup same marble thick reveal bird's eye maple cabinetry and the whole marble goes up to the walls and the columns as well right next to that we have a small prep area makeup area with its own sink. And going in, we have some built-ins here. Your second walk-in shower. I'm not gonna step into this one because it's pretty much like the one that we saw earlier. Same finishes, same details. And I just realized also, can we point to the floors for a second? Even floors are book matched. How amazing is that? Right here, I feel like I've been keep talking about details after details, but it's overwhelming almost in a good way. Built-in closets. Nicely paneled in, same white cabinets that we saw at the other walk-in closet. They brought the same details here as well. Let's see, a few more things to cover. Another water closet, another vanity set up here with the same finishes. And going through these double doors, it keeps giving. I mean, it really does. We kind of have this small spot dedicated to primary bedroom, or we have another access point on the other side. 
What I mean by spa is again, the same marble is brought in here, but you got a awesome, I'm just going to take a seat here, steam shower here, which is, which is just amazing. Everything's clad with the marble. You even have a bench design and I'm pretty sure these benches are heated as well. You can actually see your steam outlets on the corner there, rain head above. I mean, the fact that you own a steam shower like this on your own home as an amenity is just, it's mind boggling. I mean, I want to live like this and just enjoy Florida. All right, let me get out and go to the other side. We have the dry sauna here. Yes, it does get better. Now you get a sauna. You can probably have two to three people here, no problem, right next to your steam shower. This is incredible. I'm so impressed with this whole bathroom. Um, open shelving here. You get an additional sink setup over here right before you exit this bathroom. Now, I wanna go and follow this hallway because we got one more section of this floor left and then we're gonna go up to the third floor. And that is right here. Initially, I kind of brushed over it, but you get an awesome seating area here. I say awesome because it has so many different amenities. Let me start with this one actually. So you open up these doors, you get a sink setup, dishwasher. I mean, who would put a 24 inch small dishwasher to this level? I appreciate attention to detail like that. It certainly helps. Open shelving, get ready. We got the TV behind this wall. And around here, we got a microwave and an espresso maker. This could easily serve as your office as well. Now, the last part of this level, we saw it at the first floor, we have this elevator here, which we're gonna take it now, go up to the third floor and check out the rooftop deck. All right, everyone, here we are at the third floor. By the way, this thing is awesome. It just sucks you up to the upper level or the lower level, wherever you gotta go. We got a bit of a built-ins here, dishwasher, sink setup, full bathroom, because we have this awesome rooftop deck here. I say awesome because, by the way, it just rained, so excuse the wet floors, but you have your own pool at the 45th level. How cool is that? That's insane. Your rain head, and this area is kind of secluded because you have all these sliding glass doors and an automatic awning design. If you want to cover this up, make it a little bit more shaded. Right here, you have some drawers, this outdoor grill that has been never used, brand new, amazing views. In fact, let's go outside for a second. We got to talk about these views one more time. All right, we're at the 45th level right now. This is amazing. We have the bay in front of us and wrapping around this is the ocean. It doesn't get much better than this. Literally, you see the waves going down. It's amazing. And that's pretty much it for the third floor. Of course, we didn't drive all the way out here just to see this place during the day. We're gonna spend a few more hours here, wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at night. everyone that's it for the tour i hope you all enjoyed this video we spent the last 12 hours in this incredible place i mean look at this view behind me people are pulling up on their yachts the whole city is lighting up and throughout the day we really enjoyed that amazing ocean views this penthouse being on 43rd floor you really get these elevated views throughout interior is amazing and again i really want to give a big thank you to the listing agent jeff miller for allowing us to tour this amazing penthouse and shared with all of you as always we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, as always, leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you don't wanna miss our weekly episodes, make sure to turn on the notification bell and we'll see you guys next week. <music>